did not grow up wanting to be a cook. I was not even interested in cooking. If I had told my family that I was gonna cook for a living, I would have never made it out of Morocco. But my life revolved around eating um, and the family meals throughout the day, three times a day, were the center point of our days. My grandpa would take me with him to the market every day after breakfast to get produce and, and proteins for lunch. And um, that was basically, in a way, giving me an education about getting the produce and, and the, the importance of interacting with farmers directly, the importance of actually touching something before you buy it, smelling it, tasting it. So to this day, I still do some of the things that I was doing when I was a little kid with my grandpa. Cooking for us in Morocco was all about the past. We are so happy when we take a little bite of something and it reminds us of a moment in the past. That is the epitome of happiness for us when it comes to food. So when I decided to make the products, I had to seek a great partner um, that would let me and help me develop products that will have the integrity that I needed to make sure that people, when they cook Moroccan food um, at home, they have what they need in a very, um, sincere and, and, and accurate way. And William Sonoma was the, the partner that I had. Um, and I found so much confidence in them in, in developing this product. And we worked really hard throughout the, the year to make sure that these products are, you know, tasting the way they're supposed to be tasting. Um, they hold up really well and they accurately represent Moroccan cuisine in so many levels. Before you start cooking Moroccan food or any other ethnic food, um, you need to have a good pantry. The spices are the main ingredient. The spices to me, they're like colors. So you have the same basic spices, but the proportion that you use them in determines what kind of flavor you're gonna have. And you can use the same spices with the same ingredient, but in different proportions and get completely different results. What I wanted to do is to come up with um, spice blends for William Sonoma that will allow people to make food without having to worry about too many ingredients. We really worked hard to make them so that they would work for a variety of, of, of proteins. And we also, you know, we were mindful of the fact that you could also use them for vegetables. Harissa is basically the Moroccan sriracha. I mean, plain and simple, it goes on everything. It's basically just that one ingredient that will elevate the dish to another level. It will just give you another dimension. It's so versatile, and, and we use it on so many things. Bagrere is basically um, a Moroccan version of a pancake, but the clever way um, about it is that when you cook it, you just cook it from one side, and it develops these holes on the surface where when we drizzle um, butter and honey in them, you can pick them up and there's no dripping because all the butter and honey gets trapped into those little holes. And it's, it's a dish that we usually make during the holidays. In Morocco, we're not too crazy about desserts, but during the afternoon, we have tea with, with cookies and we try to recreate them here. And I think we did a really good job at having them so that they're gooey inside, but they have a little crunch on the outside. They're simple to make, um, and they don't take a lot of time. So to me, it, it really captured that essence of having that snack in the middle of the afternoon in Marrakesh. If there's one thing that I really want people to become familiar with, is the ability to use preserved lemons. They don't taste anything, anything like a real lemon, but they add so much complexity. They really capture the essence of Moroccan food. I think food can, can represent so many different things for so many different people. And, and what inspires me is the ability to give people a little bit of all those things on a plate. And, and that, that is really exciting to me. Mm -hmm.